you don't want to just speak to how you want to be able to write it too. All right, well, let's give it a shot. To start, I am by no means the perfect person to be able to tell you how to write Thai, especially because I am not at a level to be able to write novels in Thai right now. I myself am still practicing Thai. I am currently just constantly writing my little journal in Thai as I can go along and having my friends check it. That being said, I do have some suggestions on how you can improve on your Thai writing a lot faster than I had. Okay, so these suggestions will hopefully be able to help you. Please stay till the end of the video because every suggestion is important. All right, even if you're not at that level yet, it's important to keep these things in mind. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you want to have more advice on how to write Thai, especially as I keep making mistakes and I can help you not make those same mistakes. All right, let's begin. And I'm going to start with five suggestions on how to write Thai. The first one I would suggest is exposure to the Thai language. And what I mean by that, aside from reading, speaking, and listening to Thai, which is very important in terms of before you even get started on writing Thai, is to just have the Thai language in writing in front of you. Your cell phone is very useful. Like the texting, having the Thai language as an option to text on, as well as your computer. If you have the option to put Thai keys on there as well, that'd be fantastic and you'd be able to practice right on the areas where it's necessary. Especially because I think that texting is what most people want to be able to do when they're talking to their Thai friends. And it's good to be able to do that to get responses back, especially if you make a mistake, you can receive the um, corrections right away and therefore be able to constantly write it and basically similar words that you would use all the time, you would make those same words and learn how to spell it as you're making mistakes. The second thing I would suggest has a lot to do with writing the Thai alphabet. And what I mean by this is that yes, everybody has to write the Thai alphabet at some point, but it doesn't have to be as boring as you probably are. A lot of people go with Kao Kai, Kao Kai, Kao Kai, but the first letters of the Thai alphabet and then give up because it just gets really boring because you see how many Thai letters there are and you just want to give up, especially because the vowels are really long too. What I would suggest for you to do is to do those, still do those, you have to, but also try to write simple Thai vocabulary like poem or wing, meaning to run, and poem meaning myself or my hair. You can start off by writing those words, you're at least starting to write actual words. It might help you be, feel more motivated to continue to write the rest of the letters and learn the grammar. It's very helpful in a, all around if you're able to start out writing small Thai vocabulary words. Number three, get yourself a Thai grammar book. And I do not mean an English translation of Thai grammar. I mean a Thai grammar book for kids. Thai kids obviously have to learn Thai grammar for school, right? Get those books and those will help you out. I use them all the time here in Thailand. If you're here in Thailand, you'll have no problem finding them in a Thai books. If you're outside of Thailand, that's where you might have to start looking online from. And unfortunately, this is where it gets really, really difficult. Number four is used for those who have advanced a little bit more to writing sentences. Keep a journal in Thai language. So write every day about what you do in Thai as best you can. Try to do it without help from the book, all right, any grammar book that you have, try to do without it at first. But if you really are stuck on something or really stuck on a word, go ahead, go to that book, write out the word that you uh, have trouble spelling, and then try to remember it for the next time around. So then as you keep writing, every day it'll be easier and easier to write it. Don't forget to write the day, don't forget to write the, uh, the month. All those kind of things will help you understand how to write these words as you are practicing writing Thai. This last one is actually very important, and I'm, I put it last because um, I really depends on how much you want to write Thai, but the fact is, what are you writing Thai for? All right, number five is, why are you writing Thai? I had written a journal for one of my teachers who was helping me learn Thai, and as soon as she read through it, she checked it like a, like a good friend would. She uh, corrected all the spelling, and at the very end, wrote, So cute! It wasn't cute, it was serious. I was trying to write, 
an essay about why I like chocolate cake. Okay, it wasn't that bad, but it was um, very, very simple. And it's because I really didn't know what I was writing about. I just wanted to write something down in Thai. So you really gotta think about what you need to write down. A good way to solve this problem is look up actual essay questions. It doesn't have to be essay questions in Thai. It can be in English, as long as you have some subject matter to practice writing about. I often find myself writing things about Thai swords, or even in English, like as if I would try to express these ideas to my kids. And that's what I end up writing about in my journals more often than not. And my ideas about that, because that's what I'm constantly thinking about. History, uh, swords, and teaching English to my kids. That's what I write about in Thai all the time. But obviously I need to advance past that, so one of the things I would suggest you guys do is look for actual essay questions that might be helpful. Anyway everybody, I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you um, are able to advance in your Thai writing better than I have so far. And I hope that if you guys have any more questions about this thing, please put them in the comment section and I'll try to answer them as best I can, okay? Everyone, see you next time. Sorry, crap.